Hi there, it's Dr. Jim Collins. Thank you for stopping by and spending some time with me. I have an important topic today. It's actually the importance of spirituality on our physical and emotional health. And societies, cultures for thousands of years have always associated spirituality with wellness, healing, balance, things like that. And Western science, on the other hand, has been dominated 200 plus years by science. Despite that, spirituality is now gaining more and more attention, more studies are being done on the importance of spirituality for our mental, emotional health, even physical and neurological health. So this is a great, great topic to look into. So studies do show in general, that spirituality uh, helps people of faith use that energy, that spirituality and faith to cope with life. Um, and they tend to experience very positive benefits from spirituality. Um, the differences between spirituality and religion, I, I think I should clear that up, is spirituality tends with the human matters of our spirit. It is um, the search for meaning, the search for purpose. Um, we try to clarify what reality is, what love is, so on and so forth. So it's an in, um, internal type of phenomenon, whereas religion is a set of beliefs, values, principles, that are laid down, they're written, or they are developed by a spiritual leader uh, like Jesus Christ or the Buddha, okay? So those are the differences between the two. Now, even though I don't study college students, I'm a gerontologist, I, I study aging and older adults. Um, one study showed that college students who were very active in their campus ministry tested very high on uh, psychological well-being and their ability to cope with daily stressors on campus. So it works for college students, so it, ha it should work for anybody else, right? Um, another study showed that older women who uh, pray and show gratitude to God actually have um, better coping abilities and they have stress buffering effects from prayer and from spirituality. So prayer is also associated with overall health, uh, more positive attitudes and feelings. I've seen the literature where spirituality is linked with lower depression and anxiety, and even stress when times are pretty tough. Now spirituality uh, can physically serve us as well. It can preserve healthy cortisol levels. It can reduce the effects of arthritis, boost our immune system, and it can reduce blood pressure. So the bottom line here is that when it comes to the link between spirituality, physical, emotional health, spirituality is healthy. That's all I have for now. I'm Dr. Jim. Come back for more, and I'll see you soon. GoPro, stop recording.